What's going on everyone? Yes, today is another tour review and yes, the wolf that stands in front of you is D-Dog from the epic Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. He is one of the four companions with Big Boss. Now this figure here is made by Play Arts Kai, so let's go ahead and check out what this figure has to offer. So as always, right off the bat, let's look at detail. So I must say, this is my very first animal uh, figure, period but very first Play Arts Kai animal figure. And I'm extremely happy with it. Um, I'm actually shocked on how good it was done. I had this figure for quite a while. I just never got around doing the review until now, unfortunately. So sorry if I'm late on things. But as the details in this figure is so well done from the face itself the hair, nose, let's look at the mouth. It's really nicely painted. Looks really good. You can see the scars. You can see little literature. Got diamond dogs. And that is, what does it say? High performance dog gear. That's what it say at the bottom. And then we look at the rest of the body in details. You can see more literature on the legs. Bottom of the feet is nicely detailed. Alright. Looking from a side view. You got the nice paint job, buckles, so forth. More literature. A little fur sticking out there. Buttons and so forth. Alright, back you can see as well, more detail. Did a really good job on this figure. I must say I'm really happy with it. I was actually shocked on how good this figure was. Uh, I pre-ordered it a while back. And like I said, just never got around to it. Just been sitting in Detroit for quite a bit. And I finally got my stuff sent to me. When I had the free time, i just been really busy. So... That's why you will be seeing quite a bit of reviews popping up. But that is the full 360 of the figure itself. All right, let's look at height comparison real quick. So measuring up to his master himself. Let's go ahead and push them back a bit. So there's Big Boss. And D-Dog has to... I'm going to say standing up like normal. He's about five inches to five and a half inches tall from foot to ear. So it's a really nice uh, comparison between the two. They did a really good job on size comparison. If you want to look at D-Dog amongst other figures, real quick. So here is a Masco Scorpion next to D-Dog. And that is the high comparison there. And here is a super action statue Ajin figure. And there's that height comparison. So that's how big D-Dog is. Let's move these out of the way. And let's jump into accessories. So D-Dog is going to come with a little bit, but just enough to be entertaining to deal with. So you're gonna get two weapons, two holders. Go ahead and zoom up real quick. You're gonna get a stun weapon, or stun rod rather. See a little peg in there, I'll show you how that works in a second. This is the holster for it. Also has a peg, I'll show you that. You get a knife. Pretty much just like Big Boss Knife. Has a peg though instead. And then here is his holster that also has a peg. Alright, so let's do this. Let's take the knife. Put it in because it can fit perfectly fine. And this little hole here. You just pretty much peg it directly into his gut or ribs.
and it is nice and sturdy so you don't gotta worry about this knife falling out it's gonna stay where it's supposed to stay all right sorry about that all right and you're gonna get two extra faces now what's cool about this figure is that you can change d-dog face uh and you can mix and match the parts which i think is very intelligent very smart move to do on making this figure a little bit more uh reasonable in cost and just making a little bit more uh give a better variety of things so this is the standard face which you more mainly see in the game okay now if we pull this off let's look at close-ups between the two so this is on a peg which goes right there okay now this mouth doesn't have nothing special on on it at all it's just a standard basic open mouth even when you look at the top part of the jaw is basic okay if you look at this particular version of d dog he has this is when he's wearing like his riot gear and he runs around with a stun gun or a stun rod rather and this is more relaxed or like breathing heavy and the mouth can actually open wider on this particular face but it is nicely done let's go ahead and try to focus on that the glass is translucent so you can see the eyes definitely looks better in person and then you get this head which comes with both eyes now i never actually seen this particular face i know it exists in a game i just never actually got that particular wolf uh with both eyes but you do get that and if you notice there's a little peg in his tongue and there's a gap in the mouth itself well that's meant for to hold the weapon so let's go ahead and take the stun weapon push that down and now you can have it either hanging it's not gonna go nowhere it's nice and firm but you close the mouth and it looks like he's holding his weapon so this is done really really nice really like this a lot all right now popping the head on is very easy just a ball peg once it's on there, oh, wait a minute, sorry. Now I'm gonna let you know too, I did have to fight with getting the head off. So if you happen to get it, you might wanna hot water it just uh, or uh, blow dry it just to get the, the peg to come off cause it's on there firmly. You don't wanna be fighting with it or you don't wanna make a mistake and break anything. So and we all know how players kind of figures get down. So you don't need nothing against you. That's gonna make your job or your life harder. All right, and then the ears itself, they just peg out. I'll take them out real quick. Give them some ears. Where is? There we go. And there's the ears. So now, son of a bitch, D Dog is set to go. All right. So there you go. And that's how his accessories practically work. Putting the sun rod in the holster, it's really easy, nothing major. Just push it in and you're done. Now, as for articulation, so you already can see for yourself that D Dog head is on a ball joint. So he can look about that far down that far up. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm going to have to mess with that because being a pain in the ass for that staying on. But to go about that far up, this far to the side, this far to the side. All right. Now, using the other ball joints involved in this, you're going to get a, a wider range. So you can look that far up. Up. Oh, know what? Fuck the head. God damn it. Hold on. I need some elevator music. Why y'all wait? There we go. Okay. Sorry. You're going to get this much looking up. This much looking down. This much looking to the side. This much looking to the other side. So you get a nice range. Now he does have a neck joint that seems to be on a ratchet. Let me zoom back a bit. 
his neck go about that far up and that far down. So you can practically make him like he eating off the damn floor. They did a really good job with this figure. All right, now moving back, he has ratchet joints in the shoulders, which you can hear. Goes out about that far, goes about that far in. Can go up quite a bit. Do a full 360 if you want to actually. Now, on his elbows, or however you want to look at this, his arms go like that. So I could damn near make him a Voltron figure. And then his wrist pegs goes that far. Nice range. His feet even has little pegs on it. Or little swivels rather. Or hinges, sorry. See your little hinges. Now going to his midsection. This is on a ball joint. Really nice range. Now going past this, this also on a ball joint. So when I say you can get nice bends, definitely get some nice bends there. Make him jump in. Yep. Really, really nice. Now, hind legs. These are on ratchet joints just like the upper ones. This can also do a full 360. So pretty much his legs are designed like a play arts kind regular human being legs. That's the pace he's pretty much working with. Uh, and then when it comes down to the elbow joint on a human figure, that's what he's using, the, the kind of like the ball uh, peg joint ratchet. So you get that really nice range. And then you also get the hinge on the foot. So that and also the tail. Tail goes about that high up. Go about that far in. You do a full 360 when you turn it. You might just want to turn it from here just so you won't tear up no rubber or anything of that nature. But the figure's really well made. Uh, when it comes down to the mouth itself, since it's on the peg, you can just pull this out and interchange the mouth. So if you didn't want this particular one to have this mouth, you just pull out like so. He loses his bottom jaw. And then let's take uh, let's take this mouth. So it's befitting. Now I will say when you get this figure, uh, definitely, definitely, definitely hit some hot water to it. Uh, if you have a problem that I had which I'm having right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, screw that change out. Let me try this change out. For some odd reason, his mouth peg is ridiculous. Like, when I say it's in there, it's in there. So you gotta fight your fight just to get the damn part out. Um, I might have to just show y'all in photos because right now, I'm going through war, trying to get that damn joint out of out of it, whatever, out of the rubber rather. I'll show you real quick. So if you look at this, it's just a, almost like a wrist peg on a human figure. But this peg, it's pretty long. So it's not short by any means. It's definitely firm, uh, but when it goes into the mouth, I think it's this one, yeah. It locks in there good. So when you push this in there, you pretty much gonna fight to get that out. So I would say definitely be careful. And that's why I say you might wanna put some hot uh, water to it or a blow dryer. But most definitely just be careful messing around with it because you definitely don't want uh, no mishaps to happen. But further as posing, I will say, I had a blast posing this figure when I first got it. So, if you are a fan of Metal Gear such as myself, I think if you get the dog, you definitely be happy with it. Even with the little hiccups I've, I've had with him. Uh, he still worked really well. He looks really good alongside Snake. So, that is my judgment call when it come down to good old D-Dog. So, if 
Like I said, if you're a fan of that particular character in the game, it's definitely nice to have. Uh, I'm definitely going to need to take some photographs of him along with Snake and Quiet because it's a nice figure. And there you go. So, good balancing on this figure. I'm pretty sure I can do some other things, but that's just a quick idea to what you can do with this figure. So, that being said, that is my review. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope it helped. And if you decide to get it or not to get it, hope this review did something for you. So, beyond all that, continue to collect, and I will have more toy reviews up. I'll say you will be seeing at least three of them within this weekend. Take care.